Hi everybody, welcome back. And today, this is gonna be a short video. I wanted to just touch on something that I mentioned in my uh, a video maybe last or one time before. This is a worm starter kit. So it's got some weight on there. Maybe, I don't know, five kilos, 10 pounds. No, not even, maybe six or seven pounds. Um, and because I've been moving stuff around, it was raining, I've got stuff happening in the, in the storeroom. I literally just put it on top of this bin uh, the other day and I completely forgot to move it. And when I came back to feed, um, whenever I come back to feed the spin, if I've ever left this on top, whenever I lift it off, I notice something really weird that happens. So obviously the moisture comes up uh, from below. Uh, the moisture comes up from below and makes this a little bit weird, uh, a little bit wet. And if I open this up, the worms come through. So, let's just, before I do anything with this, I just want to show you something. If I do this now, look at all the worms that are on top. As that pressure, as that pressure is being pushed, uh, pushing down, these guys really love to come up, up against this pressure and to be able to eat through this paper. I've got a couple of worms in here now. Hold on, where's he gone? I think they're up in this. They're in here. Just take him off. One. Come on, fella. Two. You two. Come on. So, why is that? Why is that pressure causing causing them to come to the top? And why do they love it? I mean, they're eating through this. You can see this little fella here. Let me try and zoom in. Oops. It's a bit shaky. Look at them. Anyway. And now this paper is getting nice and damp and starting to be eaten. I'm just wondering if there's any cocoons on this that I can see. Nope. If anyone can tell me or give me an explanation on as to why these guys love pressure, that would be really, really um, nice to be able to to have a, a greater understanding of, of why. We've got some pumpkin sprouts growing in here. Let's just pull this up. Oh, that's really rooting. Oh, they're going to love to eat that. More here. So while we're here, we might as well just give a little... fluffing so many worms just uh, close to the surface here let's try and get a little bit closer for you guys as well moisture is good again as usual we've had um, three days of non-stop rain outside so it's been damp, even in the storeroom. Um, it's been really damp in here. This bit is phenomenal. Like this, um, these castings are really good. I'm really, really looking forward to, to be able to start drying this out and, and harvesting these castings um, in a few weeks. But just tons of worms in here. And if you check back tomorrow, I'm actually going to set up a a breeder bin and do specifically for these African night crawlers using just peat moss um, and just feeding them worm chow so it's easier to be able to sift them out when when the time comes. But yeah, I mean there are sufficient adult worms in here now. We've fully developed Clitelliums to be able to to do that. I mean, look at these guys. I love the fact that they're always super happy. Let's just dig dig deep in there. I mean, the health of this bin is really is really amazing. There's no 
there's no um, pool dampness at the bottom it's not over compact it's really well aerated the moisture levels good the worms are all throughout it so there's like everywhere has worms it's not like they're avoiding any such area which is kind of cool I did get some mites in here a while ago I mean I guess there are still some mites in here but um, it's not as bad as it was before when it was a little bit over damp pardon me and I think um, I noticed that I definitely develop more mites when I pour um, when I pour the worm tea in here and I think it's purely because of the the sugars um, and obviously that's also in the chow but it's all good I don't mind the mites too much and there's, there's no it's not a massive issue but yeah this is really really good I love the fact that it's nice and black let's just bring this up color is amazing I love these worms so yeah one of the reasons why I want to start a, a, um, a breeder bin is without any of the the cardboard or leaves or peanut shells is because I want to look at this guy <laughs> he's doing a little break dance because I want to be able to see if I can actually spot uh, cocoons with just an adult population and it will also give me a reason to actually get um, the big bin going outside I have been really slack and I haven't put any bedding in there yet um, even though I've got bedding ready that's been sitting around to go into it um, I had some guests in town and it's been raining for the last few days so I actually want to check to see how much water it got inside and if it would be a problem uh, where it is for, for the worms um, look at the size of this dude I think I've over magnified the, the camera now so yeah so there we go guys thank you again for watching if anyone does know uh, why these um, why worms love that pressure uh, and you know they come to the surface please leave a comment um, please leave the answer in the comments below um, as always you guys know what to do like subscribe oh, we lost that like and subscribe um, hit the notification bell to be notified of any new videos which there are usually once or twice at least a week and I shall try to see you guys again soon